Mm-hmm. Fuego. Fuego. They don't call this the Fuego Fried Egg Bowl for nothing. <laughs> Hi, I am Sammy Udell, private chef to Priyanka Chopra Jonas, Nick Jonas, and 2 Chains. And today, I'm going to be making Priyanka's Fuego Fried Egg Bowl, a dish I would make for Pri just about every week. I chose this dish because it's genuinely Pri's favorite. She loves a fried egg bowl with lots of spice, some acidic, some texture, crunch, color, and she loves starting her day with a flavor explosion. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to roast some oyster mushrooms. I'm going to salt them, oil them, season them, and then toss them in the oven. For the oyster mushrooms, I have a little bit of tahini, a little bit of espalette pepper, some olive oil, salt, and then a tiny secret ingredient, which is a touch of mayo, which makes the mushrooms super crispy. I'm just going to cut off the very end, and then I like to just pull them apart. They break so easily. And just throw them in the bowl. And these are yellow oyster mushrooms. I just like having variety of ingredients, so I thought these were so pretty, so I wanted to include them in the bowl. Okay, so first I'm going to oil the mushrooms with some olive oil. Then I'm going to add some tahini and a touch of mayo. And we're going to spice it up with some espalette pepper and salt. So I was cooking for a bachelorette party with a bunch of ladies and they loved my food and my story and my energy and the very next week I found out that one of the girls at the party was Pri's personal assistant and she connected me with Priyanka the next week. And four years later I still have the pleasure of working with Pri. So let's get roasting our mushrooms but first a little trick for you guys is I love to slide the sheet trays into the hot oven first so that the tray gets hot and once you add the mushrooms to the tray, they already start cooking. I'm just gonna add a little bit of oil and now the mushrooms. I like to spread them out and get a nice even layer. While the mushrooms are roasting, I am going to toss some sweet potatoes and butternut squash in a bowl with oil and salt and toss them up. Another kitchen hack, I love to cut the vegetables to as precisely the same size as I can because then they'll get a nice even cook and it also adds a little extra love to the bowl. Okay, so we're gonna add everything to the bowl. My personal process when it comes to cooking is I love to have a lot of color, I love to shop local, I cook whatever's in season. So even with this fried egg bowl, I never quite made it exactly the same way, but there's more uh, ideology behind it, which is like lots of crunch and texture and color and spice. Pre really gives me permission to cook whatever I want as long as it hits these certain flavor notes. And sometimes Pre says, put Sam's twist on the dish because she understands that my process is a little wild and a little chaotic, but it always comes out. 10 out of 10. It's very much an artistic process for me when it comes to cooking and Pri really empowers me to express myself. So I preheated another sheet tray. I'm just going to add the squash and sweet potatoes to the hot tray. Ooh, nice sizzle. Ooh, you can already start to smell the mushrooms and they look so all right, while our veggies are roasting, let's make our aioli, which is gonna add a little kick, a little zest, a little creaminess to the bowl. So first, we're gonna start with one egg, and then next, we just need one egg yolk. Here's the egg yolk. And now, we're gonna do nine little spicy of these Calabrian chilies. Pri's a spicy girl, so this aioli is ideal for her. And next, we're gonna add some mustard, lemon juice, Let's add a little bit of salt, and now we're just gonna pulse it. This is one of my favorite kitchen utensils. Now we're gonna slowly drizzle in the avocado oil. Now we're gonna set this aside for the top of the bowl, and we're gonna move on to sauteing our ground turkey and our spinach. It's been about 25 minutes, so I'm gonna pull the mushrooms and the sweet potatoes and the squash from the oven. Nice and crispy. 
as you can see, the mushrooms are super crispy, just how I like them. And I'm just gonna set them aside over here to cool while I move on to the next part. I'm gonna do the same with the squash and sweet potatoes. I'm just gonna set them over here to cool. Before we get started, one funny thing about Priyanka is I always know when she loves the food if I come out and her plate's completely clean and she says something like, clean plate club, or wigs, or the whole table will be like, let's get it! So that's how I always know when I did a really good job and every time I've ever made a fried egg bowl, the bowl is completely clear and she always says clean plate club. So next up is the ground turkey and we're gonna saute some ground turkey with some spinach and then I'm just gonna throw in some garlic, shallots, and ginger. So let's turn on our pan to high heat. I'm gonna let it get nice and hot so that when I add the turkey, it gets crispy right away. You can see it's hot, steam, steam, steam. I'm gonna add some oil. Right away, I'm gonna break it up, spread it out. I'm just gonna add some onion powder and some garlic powder. I'm constantly stirring this and trying to get all the crispy bits back into the mixture. We love the crispy bits. I'm gonna add the spinach. Lots of nutrients in here and spinach always cooks down crazy so we're gonna add more than you think you need. It always seems like you have a lot of spinach but then it cooks down to hardly any and it incorporates really nicely into the ground turkey. Now I'm gonna add my aromatics. I have ginger, garlic, shallot, lots of flavor. Oh, I forgot the salt so I'm gonna salt it now. So you can see all the crispy bits at the bottom, so I'm just gonna add some water to release the crispy bits back into the pan and back into the mixture. So now the turkey's just about done, and we're gonna turn it down and keep it on low and tell you guys a story. Something that I really admire about Pri is she's so fun and she has so much spirit. She's such a go-getter. She's one of the most ambitious people I've ever met in my life, and she's always up to something new. Every time I come in the house, she's working on a new project, a new movie, a new book, a new entrepreneurship endeavor and I just admire her spirit, her energy and how hard she works. She's an amazing mother, an amazing wife and an epic global ambassador and a really good friend. She's always been so supportive of me, my career, starting my business, growing my business and all these attributes show in what she does. She's become so successful for a reason. She's the best. She's the best. So now we're gonna fry an egg. I feel like fried eggs are a little controversial, but I love them and Priyanka loves them. So I'm gonna add just a little nub of butter. I'm gonna crack the egg in here first, just to make sure it's perfect. Voila, splash of oil. Here we go. I'm gonna salt the egg. It's just a fried egg, you guys know how to fry an egg. But you still want the yolk to be super juicy. Once all the white is cooked and the yolk's still runny, then you know you're done. So next I'm gonna pepper the egg. And now we're gonna set the egg aside, grab our rice that I already made, and assemble our bowl. Let's get it. He did turn it into a puff puff. Does the egg look okay? Yeah. And I garnish this with feta, habanero pickled onions, jardinera pickled carrots, fried basil, my Calabrian chili aioli, everything bagel spice, and some hot sauce. Okay, so this is Priyanka in a bowl. It's a little zesty, a little spicy, really flavorful, colorful, vibrant, and extra beautiful. Before we try it, I wanna tell you guys something funny. Pri always asks me for a spoon with her fried egg bowls because she likes to scoop out the egg yolk and eat that separately. Mmm, I've never done that before. <laughs> that's actually pretty good. 
I got a little everything on this fork, so let's take a taste. <laughs> Fuego, fuego. They don't call this the fuego fried egg bowl for nothing. <laughs> it truly has been a blessing working for Pri. She pushes me outside my comfort zone like no client I've ever had before. She's asked me to make paella, Ethiopian food. Somehow, knowing her, I became an honorary Indian. I've cooked for Diwali, so being with her and being around her, she always pushes me to know more cultures, more cuisines study different foods and I've learned so much through the process of trying to impress her and I'm so grateful for knowing her and having her in my life. And I love her. <laughs> Sorry. Pri, this one's for you and I know I'll be making this for you very soon. You can find me on socials at Wholesam and if you ever need a private chef in your home, you can find us at www.wholesam.com for all your private catering and private chef needs. And for this recipe and many more like this, check out delish.com. Bye!